Hello students, uh, myself Mewal Kodiya from LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. So in last session we solved one numerical based on uh, Bayesian curves. So in today's session we have to uh, discuss one topic that is types of surfaces. So this is the last topic of this chapter. Clear types of surfaces. Now there is a two types of surfaces like two types of curves. We have two types of curves like analytical curve and synthetic curve. Same way we have two types of surfaces like analytical surfaces and synthetic surfaces. So in today's session we have to discuss some types of surfaces. So first one that is plane surface. So what is the meaning of plane surface? This is the simplest surface. It requires three non-coincident points to define an infinite plane. The plane surface can be used to generate cross-section view by intersecting a surface model with it. Generate cross-section for mass property, calculation of other similar application where plane is need figure show plane surface. Means in plane surface, we just required three non-coincident point, means three different point and fourth point automatically detected according to that third point. Okay, and one surface is generated, that is plane surface. Okay, second is rule surfaces. Rule surfaces also considered as a lofted surfaces means if we have a two curves like first curve is in above direction second curve in the bottom direction and we have to join these two curves and one surface is generated that is lofted surface this is linear surface it interpolate linearly between two boundary curves means we have two boundary curves one boundary go for the upward direction second boundary go downward direction and we have to join these two boundary curves clear that define this surface is rail can be wireframe entity. This entity is ideal to represent surface that do not have any twist or kinks. Figure gives some example. This is the this is the good example of the loop rail surface. There is two cows, and in that two cows we have to join with straight line with wireframe. Okay, so this is the rule surfaces or loop rail surfaces. Next one. Surface of revolution, we already discussed this thing. What is the surface of revolution? Means if we have one cross section view, if we rotate that cross section view about some particular axis, if we have one axis, uh, axis of uh, reference, if we have one cross section view, if we rotate that cross section view in 360 and one uh, surface is generated, clear yeah, that is the meaning of surface of revolution. This is the axis symmetric surface that can model axis symmetric object. Axis symmetric object means from center line both this side, the shape of object is same. It is generated by rotating a planar wireframe entity in space above the axis of symmetry a certain angle. So this is the surface of revolution. Okay, here one good example of surface of revolution, one planar curve. When reference axis, we have to rotate this planar curve 360 degree about that vertical axis and one object is generated. That is the surface of revolution. Okay. Next, tabulated uh, cylinder. Tabulated cylinder or tabulated surface is clear. So, what is the meaning of that? So, if we have one a cross section, if we extrude this cross section or if we stretch this cross section and one surface is generated, Suppose we have one curve like this and if we expand this curve and one surface is generated so this type of surface is, is known as tabulated cylinder or tabulated surfaces. This is a surface generated by translating a planar curve a certain distance. I mean, suppose we have one curve like this. If we expand this curve, clear? Expand this curve and one surface is generated, clear? So that is the tabulated surfaces as shown in below figure. In below figure there is three example is there. First in example one circle is there means if you extrude this circle then one surface is generated. In second one shape, one planar curve is there like a arc. If you stretch this arc with some distance at that time one surface is generated. In third example one complicated shape is there. If we expand this complicated shape with some distance and generate one surface. This is the tabulated surfaces. Okay, these all are the analytical surfaces. Okay, 
now basal surfaces now we have to discuss the synthetic surfaces in synthetic surfaces means set of data points set of boundary points okay this is the basal basal surface so what is basal surface this is a surface that approximate give input data it is different from the previous surface in that it is synthetic surface similar to the basal so it does not pass through all data points in basal curve or synthetic curve does not pass through the all data point but if the uh, remaining data point uh, consider as a control point that can be control the shape of the basal surface or shape of the basal curve it is a general surface that permit twist and kinks the basal surface allow only global control of this Okay. Now next, discipline surfaces. It is also one form of Bezier surfaces. That is discipline surface. This is a surface that can approximate or interpolate given input data. It is a synthetic surface. It is general surface like Bezier surface, but with the advantage of permitting local control of surface. Means this is the advanced model of Bezier surface. In a data points, we have some data point. you see in this figure that is a first in first figure you can see some data points in second figure we join all data point with free hand curves we all join and then one surface is generated but it is in that case all data point is affected all data point is connected with each other okay and all data point consider as a one control point if you change the position of control point at that time the shape of this uh, surface also will change clear if you change position of any of the control point at that time shape of this surface will change okay so this is the discipline surfaces next kuhn sketch kuhn sketch means for what if we have four boundary curves like different shape we have four boundary curves if we join this four boundary curves and generate one one close one close object at that time that type of surface is considered in a cone space the above surfaces are used with either open boundary or given data point the cone space is used to create a surface using curves that form close boundary means in below figure indicate we uh, used four boundary curves and we joined all the four boundary curves and generate one close surfaces so that close surfaces indicated the cone space Okay, so this is the one type of surfaces that is cone space surfaces. Next, that is fillet surface. Now, what is the meaning of fillet? If we have any of the object with corner point, and if we remove material from that corner point in round shape, at that time that surface considered as a fillet surface. Fillet either inside the edge surface or outside the edge surface. This is the baseline surface that blend two surfaces two surface together. Clear? And the two original surface may or may not be trimmed. So you can understand from this diagram that there is one corner point in there is two surface joint at one corner point. And in corner point, if we give one or remove material in round shape at that time, that corner point uh, or move uh, converted in the Round shape means it is surface considered as a fillet surface. Okay, next that is offset surface, fillet, and also chamfer surface. How to generate chamfer surface? If we cut straight cut, if we give straight cut from any of the corner point at that time, that surface considered as a chamfer surface. And last offset surface. Offset surface means what? If we have one cylinder. now we have to draw another cylinder uh, with large radius or another cylinder with uh, low radius at that time offset surfaces are used clear so what is offset surface means we have one object if we increase the if we uh, increase the size of that subject but so we have to maintain the shape of object clear or if we reduce size of the object with maintaining its shape at that time offset surface is, is used existing surface cannot be offset to create new one identically in shape but may have different dimension clear means if we generate offset surface at that time the dimension is different it is usually surface to use to stand up surface construction for example 
to create a hollow cylinder the outer or inner cylinder means we have one cylinder if we have to generate one outer cylinder or if we have to generate some one inner cylinder at that time we have to use offset surfaces okay now using cylinder command and the offset one can be created by offset command offset surface command become very efficient to use if the original surface is a composite one figure show the offset surface in figure you can easily understand that one cylinder is there and we have to draw inside one more cylinder in that cylinder we have to draw inside one more cylinder or outside one more cylinder at that time we have to use offset surfaces so in today's session we discuss our uh, total nine type of surfaces first four surface consider in a analytical surface and remaining all consider as a synthetic surface in analytical surface we use a planar surface lofted surface all are consider as a analytical surface bezier surface bisline surface cone space surface all are consider as a synthetic surface and remaining is a extraordinary like surface of revolution tabulated surface offset surface all the surface are used in the 3d modeling okay so in today's session we discuss types of surfaces in next session we have to discuss one more topic of this chapter okay